couldn't oh. have been more oh, fortunate. Gosh. Ireland, do you remember it? You, you've lived yeah. there, you've got family there. OK. Let's hope Just you know give me an answer. easy question, please. I'm going to do my absolute okay. best. It's random. <laughs> 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 the question on Ireland is... Geographically speaking, from which of these Irish counties would it be most accurate to say it's a long way to Tipperary? Is it Limerick, Donegal, Cork or Dublin? So, so Maura, so obviously <laughs> Tipperary on Ireland, in Ireland, do you know whereabouts it is? I'm pretty sure it's not far from Dublin. OK, what's the... What's the Place is the furthest distance away from Tipperary. Donegal. It, how, so how far? I would think Donegal's up north. Right, so right at take... the top. I'd say Donegal is the furthest. I would think. I'm between Cork and Donegal with this one. Right. I don't know why. Your first answer was Donegal, wasn't it? Yeah, but wait now. <laughs> this is oh, this is pressure. Tipperary. But then I also think Cork is a fair bit away from Tipperary. Oh, this is so hard. Oh, pressure. <laughs> um, I'm thinking Cork. I don't know. How come you've changed from Donegal? I don't know. <laughs> 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 OK, Barry, what are you going to lock in? I want to lock in Cork. We're locking in Cork. That was very, very tense. Let's oh. find out. Very best of luck, Barry. That was really oh, stressful. We're very close really hard, now. Man. You've been up here for the entire game, which is so, so, so difficult to do. <laughs> Are you going to go through to our final question to win money tonight? God. For £10,000 and your place oh. on the wheel. I'm going to be ashamed of my life. <laughs> I'll never be let back into Ireland. <laughs> Is it Cork? Oh, oh, oh God! No! No! Oh. Sorry, Barry. Oh, Barry! oh, Barry! The correct answer is oh. Donegal. It's Donegal. It was your instinct. It was your gut. At the final hurdle. You are off the wheel, but you might oh. return. It's the sensational <laughs> yes. Barry. Goodbye for oh. now. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Yes. yes. Wow. You're that? nervous now. No, <laughs> I really am. <laughs> Good to see that. <laughs> Tina, let's have a look at the question. For a whopping £10,000, which of these weddings took place earliest in the 1980s? Was it? Prince Charles and Diana Spencer, Bruce Willis and Demi Moore, oh. Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne, Scott and Charlene in Neighbours. Experts, lock in your answers quietly and privately on your pads in front of you. Now, Tina, right. what are you thinking? Mm. Well, Charles and Diana was 81. Correct. Um, Scott and Charlene, I think, would have been like 86 or... Further. 87 or 88, 88. would have been, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't really know on Bruce Willis and Demi Moore or no. Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne, I'm not <laughs> sure. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's whether or not either of those two were 1980, 1980 isn't it? 1980, yeah. Yeah. I think Ozzy and Sharon have been married for a long time and still are. Would they be married 40 years, do you think? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I would say I would say them. I think Bruce and Demi were a little bit later. I think so as well. So, Tina, what would you like to lock in? Um, let's say Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne. We are going to lock yeah. in Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne. Have you started this wheel in the best possible way? Is it Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne? Wrong answer, which means it was Charles the obvious Charles one, Prince Charles and oh, Diana. Wow, amazed. Sorry. <laughs> well, this is as good as it gets, Lara. Get this question right, you'll be adding £10,000 oh, yeah. to the prize pot. Wow. 
which oh, currently gosh. is at £9,000. Melvin, yes. are you feeling a bit apprehensive? It's a broad subject. I'm a, a bit nervous. All right. All so right. let's have a look at the question. Melvin is here to help. OK. He is our golden expert. Of these artists, who spent the most time at the top of the UK singles chart in 2019? Was it Ariana Grande, The Weeknd, Lewis Capaldi, or Ellie Golding? Um, well, Lewis Capaldi had quite a few hits last year and this year. Yeah. Um, I don't think Ellie Golding had, well, maybe she did, but maybe not as much as the other two. Ariana Grande is always up there. I'm being inclined to say Lewis Capaldi, though. Yeah. I, I feel it's either the, the weekend or Lewis Capaldi. They've all been in the top ten, which is why this is really tough. Yeah. I, I'm kind of leaning towards Lewis Capaldi only because, not just because he's Scottish, but <laughs> <laughs> only because I think he obviously has had a, a good few songs out, unless you think on the right. I feel it's the weekend. And he had that big tune that was massive on TikTok yeah, as well. Yeah, with the dance. Yeah, I that's true. I, I, feel that like it's, I feel like it's the weekend. Lewis was in the top ten. Yeah, for a I long think. Time. Okay, let's go. Let's go the weekend. My heart says the, the right, weekend. Right. We'll, we'll we'll lock in the weekend then. Yeah. Oh. Fingers crossed. We're going to lock in the weekend. Experts, what are we thinking? I'm with Melv. Like I think the whole TikTok thing was crazy around the weekend songs. So I went. I went the weekend. I'm not sure TikTok blew up as big over here in 2019. Right. Well, I picked up in 2020, so I'm not sure. But I went for Lewis Capaldi just because I think he broke some sort of record. And, and it's somebody you love, or, which was huge. Oh. But I don't want to be that guy. Oh. I'm not that guy. <laughs> and he's the music man. So you have locked in the weekend. Yes. Your gut was Lewis Capaldi. Yes. Your Scottish gut. Yes. This is worth... £10,000 oh, and your place on the wheel. <clears throat> it's a hugely tense moment. Let's find out. Was it the weekend? Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. The correct oh, answer right. was... Lewis Capaldi, oh, your sorry. instinct oh, was sorry, correct. Sorry. So I think we know who's getting shut down next time. <laughs> <laughs>